don't know. Common usage. Man's has got plans on the streets, innit? This have got him texting Nick next big things. Mash up bad. Hear this. Hear me now. Definition. Have you heard the latest gossip trips around? Trip what? <laughs> Trips <Tristram. laughs> That one. <laughs> I've heard Justin at number 46 is planning to take over the neighbourhood watch scheme all by his bally self. Have you ever heard anything so prosperous? Widely and incorrectly believed to have originated from the 2004 hit film The Football Factory. His first recorded usage actually dates back from the Witchcraft Act of 1735, which was good, which was a nice play in words. But it was only in spells. <laughs> Didn't like that one. Somebody must have been drunk when they read it or something. Hi, is that Paul Harris? <laughs> Maybe. Kid. I was not amused when I read it. I thought, I'm not doing that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Thank you. Um, okay, just quickly, we, we've chucked this in and uh, whether anything's going to happen with this or not. But this is your opportunity. We have a punchline that needs a joke. And we tell you the punchline. You need to send us the joke. The punchline is this. I thought she said an hour in a warehouse. Okay, you let us know what you think the joke is to that, and we'll read it out later on. It's the franchise. It's the franchise watch. It's the franchise watch. It's the franchise watch. I, did, I just realised I said prosperous instead of preposterous. Well, we kind of knew that. I didn't. That <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, yes, it's Franchise Watch time again, which if you've never listened before, um, well, you can probably work it out for yourself. Uh, well done, lads. Uh, well done, lads. You held the mighty MK Dons to a draw. What an achievement. Who would have thought that several years ago we'd be in the same division as MK Dons and not having the confidence to think we could win we take the mickey out of it being a franchise club, but at least the stadium is decent. Nice seats, good view, and I've never been served quicker at the bar anywhere. So you didn't bring any fans as <laughs> well. Uh, the MK Dons Ultras didn't turn up. They're not the Dons. McDonald's! That's, a, that's original, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. I don't agree with the fact that they're in the Football League. Parking is a little difficult, but once inside, <laughs> you'll enjoy the view. I just love that. There, there was a little bit in between those two sentences, but that's just glorious. I would have liked FFP, F, uh, FFC sorry, to wipe that horrible smile of Winkleman has off his face. Stole Wimbledon from London. Still upset dot AFC Wimbledon catching up. The dot the Stone Cows were made by Brian Bean's then girlfriend. The Stone Cows of Milton Keynes. Brian Bean's then girlfriend. I have no idea what that is on about. Does anyone know? No, I just read no. it exactly how it was yeah, written. Yeah, yeah, no. The person that made the concrete cows is a woman. Used to go out with this guy called Brian. Brian. Was that Brian Beans? <laughs> well, Beansy, I used Beansy to call Brian. Him. Right, Beansy, I used to say, where's them cows? <laughs> um, dirty Dons. Every time MK Dons travel this season, they will be arriving at a ground full of complacent, smiling home fans who are convinced they are going to walk the match and they'd be right. Yeah. Very accurate. Horrible, stole, stole stealing plastic franchise. They're the definition of what football shouldn't be. Just a shame that their, their, their idea still is going and hope we take naught fans down there this season. I'm not encouraging them. Is that the Wolves fan? That's the Wolves fan <laughs> who, who bought 10,000 Did well. Yeah. Somebody give MKD a banjo. I think, is that a barn door thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's reference, what, that yeah. was what I read. I like this one. Loathe, this is all in capitals as well. Loathe MK Dims, exclamation mark. They come across as the biggest load of geeks, fools, <laughs> weirdos that have ever encountered a football forum. They sound even worse than they look on the ground, and that's saying something. They make Wickham look like a cross between Millwall, Boca Juniors, Galatasaray, and Hagel the Horrible's first 11. <laughs> what a bunch of plants. I'm getting, that, I'm getting that quote tattooed on my back. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> the Horrible's first 11. Your club's a myth. That's it. Oh, that's it. Done. That's it. Okay. Um, right. Well, yeah, we've got some more coming up later on. You might not be too surprised to hear. Uh, but for now... Plane Talking with Mick Bannister. Thursdays at 8pm on Seclo Sounds. 
Check in for an hour of scintillating chat and music with Mick Bannister and his guests from the world of film and literature. He'll be talking about their achievements and inspiration and finding out about the books and music that accompany them on their travels around the world. Get to know the person behind the headlines. Catch Plain Talking with Mick Bannister, Thursdays at 8pm here on Seclo Sounds. Okay, very quickly, here's tonight's three clues once more. Clue number one. Janet said her fiancé had given her a better engagement ring than Betty Munro had. Clue number two. It's a leak joint in sort, but a strange kilo joint nonetheless when you mix it up. And clue three. Bernie's fast driver has lost his confidence leaving the French city. There is still time to join in, so please do via the usual channels. Okay, uh, just quick... Chat here, really, to be honest. National Hog Day was last Wednesday. It Shame was. we didn't have a show to do, to be honest. But, um, yes. Uh, what did everyone yeah, do the for, for Hog bite. Day? We got the sound bite. Is that the one we had last Yeah. Time? The heel of God, that one. Just just talk amongst yourselves for a second. I shall try and find I watched one. the video. Did you? Yeah. I watched the goal. <laughs> just the goal. And I invited my mum in because she loves, just after that goal, she loves, you know... Um, the two blocks. The two boys, what are their yeah, names? Yeah. Beavers and Butter. Beavers and Butter, yeah. yeah. They're my and, and then she, she proceeded to put... The heel of God. <laughs> there it is. God. There it is, yeah. There was an intro thing. There was a whole... Cara, Cara I'm talking. She proceeded to uh, then say, bless him. Yeah, well, I, I think we won it by a lot more than what the, um, what the history books will actually show, because uh, <laughs> rewind, play, rewind, play, rewind. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah. It literally is still just, it does not feel any less good watching it than it nope. did three years ago. No, nope, not wonderful. at all. Not at all. What did you get up to, Brando? Um, to be honest, I just watched the, 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 um, the goal. key bits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's a really bland game. Bits. I feel a bit guilty for, um, um, for Gleason because I never start, I, I always watch from the last sort of. I do. Oh, oh, oh no, is. no. I, I watch key moments. Yeah. Um, Getting to that point now, well, having watched it so many times, you know exactly where they are, yeah. you know, and you can almost stop on the second. Yeah, that's oh, that's, that's the, the that shows. But the if, true you've, fan. if you've got Sky Plus, you get, like I remember the the uh, the times to enter in on to which to get to the <laughs> certain bits. Can you remember who someone wrote this? And Ishmael did shoot, but did it I was write? not strong. Oh, okay. And Semi yep. stood in his this, path. This is yours. Oh, then the Lord. No, I lie. This, came, this, this, this came off the forum. Yeah. Take up thy mighty heel, and thou shalt find salvation. And the ball did flick from the mighty heel of Semi, and did rise up, and did find salvation in the top corner. The heel of God. Wow. Jez, what did you get up to? I don't do anything, nothing because football's dead to me now after that <laughs> performance at Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great feature there. Football's dead to me. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. Where are we going next? We've done that bit. We've done that bit. Let me just do. Well, I'll tell you what I did just really oh, quickly. Hang on. Go on, quickly. Uh, I have an AFC fan at work, and um, obviously with our uniform at work, I, I tried very, very hard to show off the fact I was wearing an MK Don shirt underneath my work shirt. The sleeves and everything and the colour and whatnot as I was walking around, and I don't think he caught one. Good man. That's, That's totally very interesting. Flat at the end. Yeah. Seclo Sounds exists to bring people and communities together to celebrate all that's best about the city. We produce a variety of music and speech programmes and we're run by over 60 volunteers. There's always room for more, so if you have a programme idea or a skill that you want to offer, then send an email to volunteers at seclosounds.org. You can find out more about this show, the station and other shows that we produce by popping along to www.seclosounds.org. What's coming up next? Well, as you asked, uh, coming up in this next section of this glorious excuse for a show, we'll hear another stunning footy fact from our very own me. We'll get the latest meaty prediction from those boys at Forecast and we'll waste your time by telling you some of the ideas we've decided not to include this week's show. So put the kettle on, put your feet up and have a good old time and enjoy yourself. Can't argue with that. OK, you can contact us by thinking that the shoe police can save you until you've heard the evidence from their dog handler, Doc Martin, or alternatively, you can use more conventional methods. You can contact us on Facebook and we're at facebook.com forward slash the Camp. You can tweet using the hashtag the Camp during the show you can text 80085, but remember to start your message with Peel! Peel! 
or else it won't reach us. Or you can text direct to the studio on 07848 930 396. Wanda from Honda has said from her shed that she fled when we said that she looks at the books and she thinks while she drinks from a glass in her lap. You tried. You tried. Uh, Steve from Tatano says, looking forward to the visit of the Tractor Boys, but only because it's on telly and he's plastic as they come. Don't worry, mate, I'm plastic as well. Uh, A text without a name, so we'll announce it there. It came from a 37-year-old woman called Daisy Dunnett. Daisy Dunnett, 37, from Milton Keynes, has texted in to say hi. Uh, Kevin from Bath has texted in to say, Don't be disheartened. Things might seem rough, uh, tough now, but we're building something special. Don't forget that. Together, we shall prevail. Very touching, Kevin. And Very Danny from Walford has texted in to say, Pwoper Naughty. Oh, Pwoper Naughty. That's the one. <laughs> no, I prefer the and, first one. And can I, can I just say, so, we've already established we're not doing a show next week, are we? We're not. So... Potentially, our next Chris, our next show is going to be the Christmas special on the twenty third. This can I just say my last show that of the, the year. aforementioned texter, tweeter, or whatever he was when he sent that in has written it. Oh, what, Mister Dyer himself? Okay, yeah. has written our next lexicon for us. Excellent one. We've That's got I... it. We've got it done. Cool. That's grand. Uh, this just in, Don's chairman and all-round good egg, Peter Pete Winky Winkleman, today held a press conference to discuss the current financial situation at the Don's. In a bid to ease worried minds and to quell demands that he puts his hands in his pockets and buys us a pony, Winky told the attending hacks and hackesses that he wasn't in right now, but if we left our name and number, he'd get back to us going through a tunnel no longer known at this address. Beep! More on this once we check the connections at our ends. Right, it's time for another uh, one of my excellent footy facts, and here we go. <laughs> Stop laughing, you. This is a fact. <laughs> Nicholas Otamendi of Man City fame is the son of Cody Mundy of Kid Creole and the Coconuts fame. Annie is not his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. Because just says so. This is my favourite part of the show. <laughs> can, can we just do something? Here? If I say, and that's a fact, can the three of us say, <laughs> no, because just says so. so. Let's <laughs> just do it. And that's a fact. Because, because just says so. That's better. Does that work? Boys. Is that good? Yep. That okay. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Right. God, we're good at this. Uh, that again. Oh. It's the franchise. It's the franchise. What? Pleased to see MK for actually there is one in here that the last word I'm not sure if we should read it or not so um, I'm all be wing a little it. bit careful. Uh, um, pleased to see MK. Pleased to see MK franchise are struggling again. Look forward to their demise. Have to say <laughs> demise. <laughs> <laughs> Have to say the MK Don support is atrocious. Sums up the franchise as a whole. I still hate MK Don's hashtag franchise. If there was one team I'd want to smash that wasn't Albion slash Villa slash Blues. <laughs> So there's not one team then. Uh, <laughs> it'd be MK. Can't stand their fans claiming they're not a franchise. I claim we're we not ever, a franchise. When have we ever claimed we're not a franchise? Now, damn it, for the first time. Yeah, let's do it. The irony that Stadium MK is surrounded by franchise outlets did not escape me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone attending MK franchise vest film should be shot. Survivors should be shot again. <laughs> wow. Well. They're not even a real club. Franchise scam. <gasps> Couldn't hear you and can't decide whether, spelt W-E-T-H-E-R, you were all drunk or spastics. That was the word. I wasn't sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 34 of you waving your arms like Parkinson's riddled mongrels. <laughs> Stop shoving that franchise down our throat. That's, That's what no she said. Oh, I've got the one from the pirate. They aren't <laughs> even a real club. Franchise club stealing bleepers. Disappointed with a third round draw. I fancy playing a football club. Instead, we got a franchise. <gasps> FFS, bleep tie, bleep club, tin pot, fake bleepy club. Ah. <laughs> MK Dons have a strong FA Cup pedigree. Of course, have installing the history of the club which won it in 1980. <laughs> like that. Franchise FC. I went on Saturday. My heart could barely take it. I view the same as franchise FC. I view them the same as franchise FC. A totally made up club. Uh, please use their correct name, Franchise Scum FC. Surely, 
as a youngster, having a cigar stubbed out in your eyes better than playing for MK Dons <laughs> franchise ifs. The problem with Deli Alley playing well is it legitimises MK Dons, which is never acceptable. Never. Hashtag fake club, hashtag franchise FC. Never I tells you. <laughs> okay, great one. Um, yes, could just keep keep tagging keep and tweeting us. and all those things. Yes, <laughs> yes, keep hating this world. Without it, we have to write some it's material. Exactly.